Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's Natasha coming on to share a project with you. I am entering a challenge for Leela Landry who's having a 300 subscriber challenge here on YouTube. And what Miss Landry is requiring or asking is that you either do a birthday card, a MDC or ATC or a combination of, you know, all three for extra points. So of course I wanted to do, um, the memory decks card because I love those and then I've been really into making cards lately so I decided to do two cards and a memory deck so I just wanted to show you oh and also the twist on it is that her likes are that she's requesting it be in in vintage Parisian or a mixed media style so I have a couple of like Paris Parisian paper pads but I don't know where they are because that was my first thought to do that because that's you know pink and girly and poodles and all that kind of stuff that's my thing but I don't know where it is therefore <laughs> by default I had to go ahead and go to the vintage style and luckily a couple months ago I got the Marion Smith designs grab bag um, grab box that I bought from her off of Instagram and it has a lot of vintage style things in it that I was able to use so I've used this paper before that I got in that pack but let me just quickly show you what I created so here's my memory decks Ooh, too close my memory decks card and I just kept it nice and simple and sweet and I used that little metal piece that's actually from recollections the flowers the paper um, that's from the kit that I got from her or the grab box and then the black and white sentiment that is from a Tim Holtz sticker pad and then the little gold leaves of course that's from uh, Hobby Lobby so that's the memory decks and I just have this little thank you die there because I'm gonna use it in a little bit to make a thank you card but also to mark my place so I know where the center is so I'm in frame all right and so like I said I created cards so here's the second card I created I've kept this one fairly simple as well because I like the hot air balloons so you can see them I didn't want to really cover them up used a chipboard frame piece from Maggie Holmes and then the inside of it is just like a journaling card again from that Marion from Marion Smith designs the grab box that I got from her and the flowers are from that as well and then the little bling pieces are from that box from Hobby Lobby so kept it real simple and um did i decorate the inside let me check oh yeah i did okay and then inside again used another sheet of that paper the six by six sticker from maggie holmes or stickers from maggie holmes sticker book that i love oh so much so that's that and then the other card that i created for her is this one a little bit more elaborate um and chunky like I like and this one I used some of the vintage finding pieces from Tim Holtz those metal pieces on the corners uh, again the papers are from Marion Smith the rosette in the back those are the ones that I buy from Christina's what is it called Christina's crafty D stash on Instagram like I bought a whole big old thing of rosettes from her and that's what I use because I cannot make them when I make them I make them and then I'll use a die to cut them into a shape and that's the only way mine will turn out right but just to make them in a circular pattern nope can't do it but anyway um and so the flowers are from there that trim is from Hobby Lobby and then I <laughs> on the sentiment I use the same sentiment which is a stamp set that I picked up at Tuesday morning I think it's um oh, I forgot what it is but it was from recently from Tuesday morning but I tried to make it look like weather well actually I didn't try it was actually an accident the paper that I stamped it on was like textured so it was like wet and I couldn't um or I didn't rather use my heat gun to dry it and so I just wiped it off and kind of try to make it look like old and worn but then I go and pop that hooray sticker on it which doesn't really look worn but I did try to put some ink on it to like age it a bit <laughs> but anyway so these are my vintage style cards that I tried oh and that um chipboard piece is from Maggie Holmes as well so I mixed like a little bit of everybody in here and then I believe I decorated the inside yeah and so the inside just used some 
cardstock stickers from Maggie Holmes and then the little scraps from the um, paper that I was using so again this is my entry for Leela Landry's 300 subscriber challenge where you have the opportunity to create up to three things for her for her challenge an ATC card uh, and and or memory decks card so thank you Leela for hosting this challenge I had fun getting outside of my box and doing something a little different it's fun to just get out of the box sometimes and try style or do a style that you usually don't do I like how other people do it and it looks nice but it's not my style like I'm more clean and simple but I do have fun just doing different things so thank you for the challenge thank you for getting me to use up supplies that I have here that I usually don't reach for so and thank you all let me show my little thank you sign thank you all for taking the time to stop by as I had mentioned a few weeks ago I will be doing something some fun things going on so be sure to keep stopping by thank you so much have a great day bye bye